Good morning, Neos faithful. It's your boy Swolax here, back at it again. We are in between rounds at MBT's tournament, and lo and behold, Konami decides to drop one of the coolest cards that I've seen in a very long time. Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Skydive Scorcher. So, if you're not in the know, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Skydive Scorcher, or just Scorcher as I'll probably be referring to as, reads as follows. So, this card is a Wind Level 8 Warrior Fusion Effect Monster with 2100 attack and 1200 defense. You might be wondering, why is this level 8? Well, that is because Flame Wingman in the manga was originally level 8. Obviously, Skydive Scorcher is a reference to his finishing move inside of the first episode of the GX anime. So, the materials are two Elemental Hero Monsters with different attributes. This is a little bit different than something like Sunrise, which only requires two Hero Monsters with different attributes. The Elemental Hero Monster with different attributes, not necessarily super hard to set up, but is a little more specific. If this card is special summoned, you can add one favorite card from your deck to, or graveyard to your hand. And there's only two favorite cards that are in the game, and we'll, we'll talk about that. And then two, the second effect, is if this card was fusion summoned with normal monsters as fusion material, which, again, we know is super possible thanks to cards like Infernal Divisor, such as cards like Elemental Hero Avion and Elemental Hero for Stenatrix. And you can tag out for a level seven or lower Elemental Hero monster from your deck that cannot be normal summoned or set, or extra deck ignoring, ignoring its summoning conditions. The secondary effect has some pretty limited uses, but the best one, of course, is gonna be Sunrise. Alternatively, you can go into the OG Flame Wingman. Alternatively, if you really wanted to, you could go into Brave Neos if you're a nut. Get something like uh, Neos Fusion, Out, Wrath of Neos, etc., etc. All good and dandy. The first effect is what is most interesting because we can search either favorite hero to get a field spell. I think there is the field spell version of Summon Limit that is actually pretty decent with this card. And OTK with something like favorite hero because you can equip this to a level five or higher hero monster you control, AKA. Skydive Scorcher. But I think more realistically, and what I think would be the best application is grabbing Favorite Contact. So Favorite Contact says special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that mentions a hero monster as material, ignoring its summoning conditions. By placing the fusion materials mentioned on it means it has to have actual fusion material. You can't just have generic stuff. Um, placing those monsters on the bottom of the deck in any order from among cards on your hand, field, graveyard, and or banished cards, which is super cool. If you place Elemental Hero Neos, neither player can return the monster special summon by this effect to the extra deck. You can only activate once per turn, hard once per turn. So one thing to note about this is that you can technically use this card to summon out the bigger Cosmo Neos, and if you have set up for it on your opponent's turn. Cosmo Neos is technically a turn skip and will allow you to, on the crackback, usually OTK your opponent as they're not able to activate card effects. Alternatively, you could use Nebula Neos if you needed to banish cards or draw cards and negate cards, which is really cool. Even so, what I think is probably going to be the biggest application, um, in my opinion, is Shining Neos Wingman. Now, very smartly, Konami named this card a Flame Wingman Skydive Scorcher. Rough translation, but it still works here, as this card requires Emil Hero Neos and one Wingman Fusion Material as Material. So this card must be fusion summoned. It gains 300 attack like Shining Flare Neos, or Shining Flare Wingman. But it also can non-targeting on special summon destroy cards your opponent controls up to different attributes. Now, typically if you're doing this card with a little bit of setup, if you're using Skydive Scorcher with a little bit of setup, what you oftentimes will have one, maybe two different attributes on your field at any times. So at worst, you're summoning out Shining Neos Wingman and popping non-targeting one card on your opponent's field. Alternatively, if you have multiple cards, you have a, a, a non-targeting, I could guess maybe up to three cards that you're doing. And that's really, really good. Now, the unfortunate part is does require you to play Elemental Hero Neos as your fusion material for something like Favorite Contact, which is kind of risky. But one more brick inside of your hero deck is probably not too bad for this effect. Now, alternatively, and I think what most people would say is that you want to go for something like Cosmo Neos over something like Shiny Neos Wingman, but it does give you a lot more opportunities for interruption on your opponent's turn, which going first, heroes do have things like Dark Claw and DPE, which is still really good. And this is, you know, just like swimming in 
support asking for more water. However, there are a lot of applications and I think the more variation that you give to heroes, the, the much better it's going to be for deck building. And obviously for Neos as well. One of the things to note is that while heroes have a ton of support and have a ton of applications for their end boards, Neos don't really have a lot of going first or really frankly, going second options. So I think like some of you guys have pointed out already, Aqua Neos for hand looping could be really interesting. A Shining Flare Neos Wingman is really cool. And alternatively, you could just go for a plain and simple favorite hero OTK with something like the Skydive Scorcher. Plus, on top of that, this card doesn't necessarily say that you have to use cards like Avion or Vestinatrix for its fusion materials. If you are playing cards like Neos, you could use Neos as its normal monster effect and then tag out for something like Sunrise, boosting the uh, the damage. So I think that's probably going to be really big for, for Neos. Obviously, Konami gave us something very similar in the form of Spirit of Neos not too far back. This card allows you to search an elemental hero card that specifically mentions an elemental hero card, but I think this is a little bit too slow. <laughs> Plus, it does require you to play an extra an extra brick in your deck. And this has some applications, obviously, with the God card, Featherwind with Avion if you're a nut, uh, but it also is kind of interesting with things like End Shuffle because you gain a lot of advantage off of that. The risk reward factor is probably not there, in my opinion, but I think for something like Skydive Scorcher, it's going to be a game changer. I love this thing's art. I think this game is going to be really cool to experiment with. And personally, I might run it alongside something like Sunriser for just extra utility. It at the, at the very least, it gets you to cards like Favorite Hero, which can lock out your opponent from summoning and OTK potentially. Or it gets you to Favorite Contact, which as a going first option is always welcome. Uh, for Neos, I think this card is much, much bigger than it is for actual heroes. Heroes definitely don't need like super extra amazing huge support, but Neos does. So biggest applications that I can see for this card is that you use this card in conjunction with something like Infernal Divisor. Infernal Divisor actually just searches materials, doesn't actually have to search hero monsters. So because Infernal Divisor, you're able to search things like Grand Mole or Dark Panther, you could very easily get cards out like Cosmo Neos or uh, a Nebula Neos out on your opponent's turn with something like Favorite Contact. As long as you're able to get to Elemental Hero Neos, which is probably not gonna be too, too hard, um, then you'll see some success, obviously. My personal favorite application and the simplest one you can think about is Shining Neos Wingman because it has built-in fusion material with Skydive Scorcher. But don't just take that word for it. I mean, obviously you can experiment and do a quite a bit with this card. It's so funny how much this opens up for the hero archetype in such weird ways. That's something that I really like about this card. I think the design is interesting. I like more stuff like this, and I never thought in a million years that they would retrain Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, the GOAT, the OG. But the artwork's cool, the effect is cool, and I cannot wait to see what it does inside of Heroes. So, pretty sure Jade Miara made shorts using this card. I believe it. I believe it. He's like, actually, just Hero Jade. He's Hero Nuts. First impressions, new Flame Wingman, quick combo. All right, let's see it. All right, let's watch. Let's see, let's see what he has going on here. We're gonna go for Hero Lives. Hero Lives, pay half life points, go for Stratos. Stratos, search Ferris. Uh, discard Ferris, go for two, search, search, the normal hero combo, send Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist, banish, or uh, Bion, banish, search Poly. Go for Cross Crusader, Cross Crusader, search Liquid Soldier. Uh, go for Liquid Soldier, send back Shadow Mist, send, get Mass Change, search Mass Change. Go for two, go for own Pfizer. From Pfizer, baby. What have I been saying? That's my card. Infernal Divisor is so cool. Effect of Infernal Divisor, search Neos. Then you go Poly, go for two. Go for Sunrise, oh, Sunrise, interesting. Miracle Fusion, I, go, oh, I guess you can do this with Miracle Fusion, can't you? Go for two, go for you. Summon, set Poly, go for Miracle Fusion, summon uh, our Neos Wingman, or our Flame Scorcher, Scorcher, search favorite contact. Go for two, tag out for this, hand loop, get DPE. You can get DP, that's right, because it's a level six. Ah, That's sick. That's super sick. Actually, Jaden BR's got cracked. Dark Law, DPE, Miracle Fusion set, add Spirit of Neos, go for Favorite Contact, shuffle back two, go for this, that's a pop. But that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. So, thank you guys for joining me on this in-between rounds for 
our hero review cards. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you wanna see more, please subscribe, blah, 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 blah. But for now, I am going to be testing out this card along with the new cards released for Neos inside of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, hopefully sometime soon. This card's gonna to come to us in like two years in Master Duel, but for the TCG, it might be worth experimenting with. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna get back to losing in this tournament. We have about a couple minutes left in the round, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, peace out.